Riverside. With Northeast Ohio's best coverage, this is News Channel 5. Shots fired in a suburb. It is a developing story and a mystery that we are following tonight at 11. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. Several shots were fired at a business in Westlake, and when police got to the scene, another shot was fired. No one was injured. Police did close down roads, which have since been reopened, and tonight they are piecing together exactly what happened. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is live tonight in Westlake. Michael, what is the latest? Yeah, Tracy, mystery is the right word here. For one, the shooter is still on the loose. And secondly, police have no description of the shooter. Now, at first, they thought he may have been shooting from the woods. But now they believe the shooter was shooting at this building from a moving car. At first, police thought it was one shot that went into a building that houses both an accountant and financial planning business on Center Ridge Road. But after further investigation, police say it was five shots. The financial business looks like three rounds struck that part of the business, and the other part of the building, the east part where the CPA is, there were two rounds. News Channel 5 was the first to report on Twitter that police say the shooter drove by multiple times in order to get off his rounds. And what caught police by surprise is when a round was fired while they were clearly in the building investigating. He was on the scene examining one of the rounds, and uh, while he was up on a ladder checking the ceiling and the, and the uh, wall, another round was fired through that business. So. We mobilized everybody down here. Police say they can tell the shots came from the road based upon where they landed. Well, it's one of our theories based on the trajectory of uh, the rounds. What we tried to do was use a laser beam and come back from the final rest of the rounds, and it appears to be that they came from the roadway. The first call came in around 12 this afternoon. With the shooter on the loose, police called in the SWAT team as well as closed off several streets around the city. The perimeter stretched some four miles, which had residents on edge. Images that look more like something out of a Hollywood movie don't often happen here. Ate some food, got a call from a friend, says got a news alert. There's SWAT teams in the, in the area. It's nerve-wracking, it's frustrating, and being in Westlake, you would never think anything like this would happen. I figured it was like a water main break or something pretty simple, not a shooter on the run. The lieutenant says their next step is to go around to any homes or businesses to see if anyone has any type of video. He's also asking for the public, if anyone knows something, to please come forward. We're live on your side in Westlake. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.